Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to another episode of Straight Kicking It. As you can see, it's early and I'm looking a little rough. So, we're gonna try and keep my face out of this picture, <laughs> out of this video. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not picture perfect today. But, uh, I think it's been a couple weeks since I posted a video. And I just happened to be on this side of town. I was like, all right. I was up, wake up in the morning and run out and do a video. I'll let you guys know what's going on, what's up. So, this is um, top of July. We got a few things going on. First thing we'll start off with is running because this is a running channel. <laughs> well, at least it started out that way, but uh, running is not going so well right now. And I'm, I'm cool with that because I usually have a, a period of time when I just don't have time to run. I don't have the energy to run. And yeah, I just take it easy. And it is what it is, but uh, right now I'm just getting like maybe one, two runs in a week at a half, half ass pace, but that's cool too. Um, not racing. I don't feel I don't feel like I'm going to be racing anytime this month or this or anytime this summer, unless something amazing happens and that frees up some of my time. But I don't know. Until then. We'll just be uh, taking our time and trucking along whenever we can. So, first things first, running, horrible. That's um, number two, stock market. Talk about the stock market real quick. Amazon stock just split a couple of weeks ago. The stock was at like, what was it, 3000 and some odd dollars per share. And um, a couple weeks, a few weeks ago, it split, bringing the shares back down to uh, the lowest I seen was like $98 a share. And I believe now, a couple weeks later, it's back up to, it's sort of settled around. 106 108 area so still a great buy guys you might want to go out there and uh, snag you up a couple of those shares while it's cheap because um i'm not sure how long it's going to be that at that price but that's a steal and believe me you'll thank me in about i don't know a year from now I think it's going to, it might take a little bit. We're just heading into a recession, supposedly. So who knows? It might take a couple of years for it to bounce back, but it's definitely going to bounce back, you know? So stock up. <laughs> Other than that, um, I guess we can talk movies and TV. Um, what TV show am I I just finished watching the third season of Barry, which was pretty hilarious. And if you're not familiar with Barry, I believe Barry started out, the TV show started out on um, HBO, but you can also catch it on Hulu. And it's about this ex-military guy who uh, who's now like a part-time uh, mercenary, a contract killer. And he's um, he's at war with himself, wanting to get out of tr contract killing, and you know just live a normal life. And in the meantime, he's practicing acting, and you know he wants to be this actor or whatever. I guess because of this girl, his girlfriend he has is one of, is is an aspiring actress, and so he sort of just tags along. And um, I guess he figures out he likes to act, so. 
in the meantime, he's acting as a <laughs> as a contract killer while at the same time an aspiring actor. And he's really at war with, you know, trying to get away from all the bad energy and the negativity that comes along with being a, a mercenary or a contract killer. But it's a pretty good show. You should definitely check it out. It's called Barry, B-A-R-R-Y. And you can catch it on Hulu and or HBO, I believe. Um, what else we got? I don't know. My mind goes blank whenever this damn camera comes, starts rolling. But um, well, we got a friend come to join the show. <laughs> but um, I guess we could talk Ghost in the Shell uh, standalone complex. I forgot what season that is. I think that's like season two, I want to say. But I keep falling asleep on it every time I turn it on. So I, there's not much I can say about that that show. It's not um, it's one of my all time favorite cartoon series. But the the style of um, the style of the uh, the anime itself, though, as far as like you know the CG and the it just doesn't look cartoony to me. I like I like cartoons to look like cartoons and not like you know, I'm playing a video game or something, so I normally don't, t I typically don't like those types of cartoons just because it feels like you're watching some type of um, a Disney movie or something instead of like I don't know, an episode of what is it, One Piece or something? I never, I'm not a, I'm not a One Piece fan, I'm not going to watch a thousand episodes to get caught up with that. I'm, I'm sorry, I just missed the, I missed the time to jump in ten years ago or whatever it was. So there's Ghost in the Shell, there's Barry. Um, what did I say? I said something that made me think of something. But um, let me get that beach in there real quick. But yeah. What's another show? I heard there's new episodes of The Mandalorian. Haven't seen that. Haven't seen the um, the new Doctor Strange um, movie. I would love to see that. Uh, that's all I can think of right about now, but... Um, I just wants to hang out. Whatever. So yeah, let's get let's get down to the uh, to the good stuff. Poker. I've been having a nice little run these last couple of weeks. You know, I'm feeling good about my, about my gameplay, the things that I'm doing. And um, at this point, I'm just brushing up on the things that I know. Maybe I might discover some new things as we approach July 27th. The, um, the Hard Rock will be hosting a, what is it, a Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open down in Hollywood, Florida, 27th through the 31st of July. Um, they have a $400 buy-in with a million dollar guarantee. So that means my ass is definitely trying to get right so I can get down there and be able to play for $1 million. That's crazy. That's crazy. When I think about, I started out playing poker for absolutely no money whatsoever. I used to go through great lengths just to go and be able to go across town. I would take the bus, the train, 
whatever to go across town to play poker. I would walk. Yes, I would walk. And you know, back then I felt like it was just pathetic, but that was that was what I loved to do. You know. Whether it be just for the social atmosphere or whatever it may be, something was pulling me to come out and play by any means necessary. So here we are many years later and we're heading down to Hollywood, Florida this month to see and test our skills and that that in itself is a dream come true so hopefully I won't be too excited when I get there too anxious or anything and I'll just perform like I'm supposed to perform and then we'll um, we'll see what's up um, yeah we'll see what's up anyway people are lurking <laughs> But yeah, guys, this has been another episode of Straight Kicking It. I hope you've enjoyed it. So, until next time, get up, get out, and straight kick it. <laughs>